To the southern tier now with a live look at the Chautauqua Institution. Each year, more than 100,000 people flock here for summer programs, often centered around education, religion, arts, and recreation. Today, it played host to a discussion about the state of politics in America. 7 News senior reporter Maki Becker was there for that conversation between two recognizable figures from both sides of the aisle. And I hope we all take a deep breath and say, our rhetoric had maybe gone too far. After a tumultuous week in America, two politicians from opposite sides of the aisle sharing the stage Friday at the Chautauqua Institution. Kevin McCarthy, a former Republican Speaker of the House, and Julian Castro, a one-time Democratic candidate for president and former HUD secretary under President Obama. Both spoke about a need for change. Castro is joining a growing chorus of Democrats saying President Biden should step aside. It's clear, at least in my mind, and, and as you all have seen in the minds of people whose judgment I know the president respects as well, that he's not the same candidate in 2024 that he was in 2020. And with the stakes so high, if the standard that we're using is, are you the best candidate, are you the best option to beat Donald Trump in November? I, I plainly, I think the answer to that is no. McCarthy speaking about the heated tensions in the country, revealing that a member of his own family was a potential target of violence. And I don't put this out publicly, but this week a man was sentenced who tried to kill my son after the debt ceiling. He had tracked, my son lives in San Francisco, he planned when he walked across the street and fortunately the officers picked him up beforehand. He called for the nation to tone down the rhetoric. This is a thing we have to think about. It's it's not just politicians, it's all of us as well. Those who attended Friday's event telling me they appreciated being able to hear opposing sides talk civilly to each other. I'm hopeful that there can be healing if people can learn to listen to each other and speak in a civil way to each other. And that is largely what Chautauqua is all about, fostering an opportunity for civil dialogue. That my takeaway was there are people still in our uh, government that are willing to do that. So, and I wish we just had more. Now there's just a little over 100 days until the election. Both sides seem to think that a lot can happen. Both are confident. At the Chautauqua Institution, Maki Becker, 7 News.